Hi, um, I know I said in my post the other day that you probably wouldn't see this again on my public blog because it's going to form part of my new class but um, I just thought, then I thought to myself I haven't really spoke to you properly um, well I guess I never speak to you properly but I haven't really chatted with you um, for quite a while and this is mostly what I'm working on at the moment um, so if I want to share something with you for now for this post it'll have to be this I do have some paper things that I'm working on that'll be ready for showing you soon but today and yesterday this is what I was focusing on so I just want to attach these two little bits of ribbon um, I don't baste it's only small so I won't baste it and if you look at the other pieces you've already seen these um, for this piece they've got like little bits of stuff dotted on them um, so it's just really continuing that idea um, and there's another one up there on that one now I also won't be putting this in a hoop because it's quite substantial um, so it doesn't really need a hoop so where did I put my needle and thread do you know what see this is what it's like in my classes it's probably attached to one of these by accident yeah there it is I'll, I'll thread a needle put it down start talking lose the needle and thread it's normal it's just normal things are normal so I'm just going to literally, just look, I call them stab stitches, um, on the end here. Got fluff there. It's just off the ribbon. Because um, it's, it's just going to unpick now. Hence the reason for me doing these stab stitches at that end. So it won't take me, take me a nanosecond. So how are you all doing? Lockdown. I'm getting quite irritated now I know it's for the greater good and I know I'm not going to break lockdown I'm not going to do anything irresponsible but I have to be honest and say that it's getting to me now I mean I never used to do much anyway well I did but I used to go see my parents see my son see my daughter that when all of those things involved drives of different lengths and distances um, aside from that I never really left the house unless it was to do those things but it's kind of like not having the choice isn't it that's the thing even if you don't want to do something I'm kind of not happy knowing that if I wanted to do it I wouldn't be able to that's the thing that's getting to me I guess I'm that kind of person can't be told my mother said I never like being told what to do so there you go but I mean I'm hoping we're reaching some kind of good point now in terms of the the prognosis for the infection rates and that just fingers crossed um so i hope you're all coping it is very difficult i spoke to my mum this morning and my mum was 80 this year she's very very active always has been um, and she said this morning she hadn't left the house for weeks not for anything she has, literally hasn't left the house I wish she'd been in the garden, but apart from that, and she said to me this morning, I'm going to pin this lace back here so I can do this other end, that she feels old because she's not doing anything, and I guess that's an issue, and there's probably a lot of people, either my mum's age or even younger, that are feeling like that. So it is difficult. It's really it's a, such a big ask, what we're being asked to do, isn't it? But like I say, it's for the greater good. Thank goodness we've got embroidery. So I'll do this then now. So I think this post, that'll be three in a row that you've had. Um, you can tell I'm on lockdown. But then again, I, never, I seem to have a lot more time now. And I don't know why, because I'm not really doing anything different than I did before. Um, maybe because the world's quieter. I don't know. And it's my daughter's birthday today, and I would have been in London to spend it with her if it hadn't been for Boris. So thanks, Boris. Cheers for that, Boris. And anyway, he's had a baby boy today, so he probably waited till today so we could share the birthday of his son with my little girl. That's what I think, anyway. So there, so that's really simple, but it's effective. Um, shouldn't be telling you this. Should be saving it for my class. Maybe I am getting lockdown fever, even though I don't think I am. 
maybe subconsciously I am. Take that pin out now, go find the head. There, that's quite nice, that one there. This one, I'm probably going to do through the loops that are there on the side of the ribbon. I've been ordering so much ribbon from VV Rulor since lockdown because I always see another one. Oh, I should have got some, I should have got some of that. And like, for example, so I had two metres of this I ordered. Okay, and that's all I've got left. And I think I should have got more. I always do that. I should have got more. But I'm loath to put in another order because you get free postage if you spend over £30. And I really cannot justify spending another £30 on ribbon. But if I ordered that, I think that's like 165 or something a metre. And if I ordered, say, five metres of that, then I'd still have to pay like £3.50 postage. And I'd be thinking, oh, if I'd gone over £30, that would have been £3.50's worth of ribbon. So I'm not doing it. I'm going to be very well behaved, very good, and resist the temptation. So I'll just stitch that one on there. And I'll tell you what, when this lockdown's finished, I sense a big London shopping trip coming up. I've been using a lot of Liberty fabrics in my book class, which is just finished. Um, so they need replenishing. But then you're not spending anything, are you? Because of lockdown, people aren't doing anything or going anywhere. Like, I mean, say, so if I used to go to my mum's, I used to buy her flowers and buy something for my dad, like, he likes boiled sweets, and... I would have been to my mum's, like, three times during the time we've been locked down. So, you're saving that money as well, aren't you? It's like... It's, so all mine's going to be spent, not on flowers for my mother playing catch-up. It's going to be spent on Liberty Fabrics. So do the next bit. just down this side and then we're done. And I'm trying to decide what to do with the rest of my day. I mean I've got plenty of stuff to work on but I'm thinking I've got four weeks between now and my next class and I'm sure I had plans to do something amazing and now I can't remember what they were. Well I can vaguely remember them but now I'm be remembering them I'm thinking maybe they're not amazing but I do that a lot I work on something and I think it's amazing and then I think it see it every day I think and it no longer becomes amazing because it's not new um so but it'll probably be today putting some pages together for little books I would imagine little notebooks and that's that one down now. I can't really get one in up here because it's frayed. So I'm going to do it the other way just to secure that little fray bit there. There. So, so I just wanted to catch up. I haven't told you anything interesting ever. I've just probably bored you to death. But well, maybe you'll enjoy watching that little bit of sewing more than just looking at pictures, perhaps. Perhaps. Um, okay, stay safe.